forest mulching can be a great way to get access to your property at a reasonable cost. And look at this, you can drive right on through this. Now this was small pine trees and different kind of uh, small shrubs and stuff. I'm Justin Hitt from Prosperity Homestead. What I did is I looked on the historic satellite pictures to try to find any old roads on this property. So the historic pictures gave me an old road that's through here. And this old road run a, a, a forest mulcher up and down it. Actually, probably only did this in one or two passes. Because I told him I didn't mind a shred like this. This is good. Because essentially what I'm going to do is seed this and get some grass, some pasture grasses growing on it to hold the soil in place so that when we bring the uh, trucks back here, or the truck back here, or to go camping or such, we maintain an okay trail. So let me show you what it was like. Oh, he did catch some of that wire. I kind of highlighted some, uh, some threats back here. So we could talk a little bit about surveying the property and about setting up your project. But ultimately, um, what happens is you get your, your property boundaries set and you get a forest mower to mow the perimeter and looking at historical maps, you're gonna find roads and stuff. And so the old roads are great, perfect entry points for getting your forest mulching started to get a, some clearing. But we don't have to clear this land to use this land. In fact, we're gonna we're clearing only paths for for, for uh, fencing, and then once the fencing is up, we simply put up uh, deer, uh, not deer, but uh, goats as our first crop. The goats will get all this thinned out. We'll cut firewood, but maybe this is the biggest tree in the whole property. You know, there's not much of a of a tree size out here to get timber or anything. It's just mostly uh, thick woods. But again, this space here was grass and small shrubs, pine trees, and he came through with a forest mulcher and got it clear. So we've got a, an original roadbed, and there is a, let me grab my bag here real quick. I'm out doing the no hunt purple and tidying up some of the, the trails. But basically what we got here is the, is the property marker, and the road happens to be mostly on my property. But we're basically clearing the original road. Now the, the owners of the adjacent properties benefit from us clearing this road. You could tell the road was used in the past because people dumped junk back here. But ultimately, uh, by clearing up the road to access my property, I'm able to get vehicle back here to go camping. Uh, and I can just barely hear that forest mulcher out there. I can um, use the vehicle, get a vehicle out here to do our camping to do some shooting this range right here is pretty good there's actually a, a backstop on the other end there where the hill goes up so we could get a good hundred yards right out of this spot right here do some uh, rifle shooting but in the property we can put up a fence temporary fence on this outer edge and impound deer I keep saying deer goats in this area here where it's just kind of tight pines now we have to monitor the feed ratios because there's not a whole lot to eat but they will trample and, and thin this area out, get out a lot of the briars. Other areas of the property are not as dense. They have different kinds of hardwoods, but we're not gonna mow the whole forest. We're just mowing, again, access points first. And once you've got the access points mowed out, then we're gonna be looking at where we're gonna put our water, the agricultural well for the water. Uh, these clearings are creating edges in the forest, and these edges in the forest are going to help us increase growth and increase uh, habitat. Now, if there's anybody deer hunting out here, of course, you've got, you got a much safer range. So here's another property marker. And so there's, a, there's actually another road over here, by the way. So if I come out over this way, you can see there's other roads. And that's kind of like what it looked like before the forest mulcher came through. And the forest mulcher is simply widening it up and clearing it out. Now these other roads go to another person's property, a different property, so we're not, we don't touch those roads. We focus primarily on access to the own property because there's a thing called a right-of-way. And then by using the right-of-way, we're able to get our different access points. We're gonna get back here a little further and there's another property marker out here. 
So it doesn't, I don't, it doesn't matter why this road is here. This road could have been here for the city. Now that always concerns me. I got a rolled up bag with a suit in it. Just one suit. I don't see any bones nearby. But it looks like a burlap bag with a suit in it. There's some tires over here. Maybe people have been dumping here for a while. Anyway, so there's another property marker over here. Look how wide this is. Now, these different roads that are coming through here, again, we're only focusing on the road that I identified on my property and had to go back to 1985 to find this road. And now I'm walking, I'm looking for some side paths here. But look at this, you can set a tent up in here and go camping. Oh, here's some brick that's in the, in the path here. You could set up a tent and do some camping. You can really enjoy this space on a simple forest mulching. If you click the link below, you can ask questions. We also have some resources to help you with holistic land management. This is the kind of land management where you're gonna get maximum utility value out of the land very early in the purchase. Uh, and it's gonna save you a lot of money on the back end when you're trying to get a house on or agricultural product. Uh, we'll be able to run goat on this property within, within days. Because simply, you simply can uh, take a chainsaw or, and, and make a trail into the woods, put up our temporary fencing out here, and we can circumnavigate our entire property on a path like this. So you simply drive a truck down, bring your feet out, bring whatever you need, run a four-wheeler if you want, and the property goes from being raw agricultural land to usable agricultural land with economic value in... Well, these guys gonna be out here for two days and already already it's beautiful now it is harder work on the inside of the woods here you can see how thick the woods are that is a little bit harder work but ultimately uh, I surveyed it took me a couple days to survey but I surveyed flagged everything and he got in and started doing his clearing so again if you have a piece of agricultural land maybe it's that dream property you're gonna retire on if you've got an active farm that has some dead land that you're not sure what to do with, we can talk about specific approaches to open up that land. Even if you just make it more accessible for safe hunting or wildlife management, forest mulching. Um, we're going to do some earthworks later. We might have some of that on video. But frankly, now is the time to get this stuff done. And I'm not really going to do a lot of videos that are out on the public because really, in a day, if you plan it right, you get so much accomplished that why, why would I sit around and dick around on the videos? Okay, we're coming up to another property line here. So double marks are property line. And, oh, I gotta let him know he can go down this other road here. So double marks are property line. Look at this clearing here. That's a perfect place to put the mess tent and put your, uh, your hammocks in the woods right off the edge there. That's gonna be sweet. So my job today, by the way, is to pull trash, make trash piles out of the way, and to make sure our survey markers are clean. I'm Justin Hitt from Prosperity Homestead. Forest mulching, huge value for your property. I hear that mulcher coming, so I'm gonna get off the camera. Thanks for watching.